Morning, guys. Happy Labor Day Monday morning. So, okay. Uh, another two for Monday. So you got one video here and one video over on pinball prepping. Uh, I'm trying to stick a little bit to the preparedness month ideas, at least here for the most part. And then the other one, the other channel today has some more of the squirrel cage comments. <laughs> so you might be a little interested in the other one. So Saturday night when we did the live stream, uh, somebody brought up a really good point uh, or a really good suggestion for a video. And a lot of times, like I said, the inspiration for what comes up in a lot of videos is what you guys ask about. So hence, this is it. Uh, he had asked about repurposing, recycling, redoing, reusing things as a prepper and how, how can we do it? <clears throat> and I thought it was a really good idea because there are a lot of things that I do that aren't the normal use for a particular material, but are very efficient and you know, if something's got another use, why the hell throw it out? Now, a lot of these, some of these, maybe none of these, uh, you may already know. Uh, some of them may be totally new. But they're all things that I use in one way or another or do in one way or another. Uh, and I came up with the 15 best, if you will, that I can think of. Now, I'm assuming 15 just because I didn't want to make this a half an hour long video. Uh, but I'm also thinking that you guys probably have some creative uses for things too. So please, please, please put them in the comments so we can all benefit from your wisdom as well. So, uh, all right, so I'll just start here. Garbage. <laughs> okay. You know, the weeds you're pulling, God knows we're all doing that this time of year. Your grass clippings, your kitchen scraps, you know, your carrot tops, your potato peels, whatever it is. Compost that stuff. Okay. I mean, it makes your plants, whatever you're growing, that much healthier. Don't think you can't compost in the winter. It's fine. Okay. Make a compost pile, get a compost tumbler, whatever it is, all winter. Do whatever you need to do. It'll still work in the wintertime. Okay. Just keep following the same thing. Get it wet. I mean, now, granted, if it's under three feet of snow, it's not going to do you any good. Uh, but it'll still compost under the snow. Believe it or not, the snow insulates it. So still a good thing to do. Always making compost. You can never have enough. Okay. Next one. Uh, chances are most of you guys are like me, have prescription of some sort. Old pill bottles that you get, you know, run out of your prescription. You got an old pill bottle. Save those things. They're great for storing matches. They're great for storing like uh, fire starter, you know, your cotton balls soaked in Vaseline. Great for something like that. You screw on the top, it's sealed, it's not going to pop open. Pretty much waterproof, you're good. Same thing you could use Altoid tins or Tic Tac boxes for if anybody has used those things. Okay. Toilet paper tubes and uh, paper towel tubes. God knows we all get enough of these, right? Take either one of them, stuff them with cotton balls that are uh, soaked in Vaseline again, wrap them up in wax paper, look like a Tootsie Roll, makes a great fire starter. That thing will burn for like five minutes and get, I mean, I've got wet wood, not soaked, but wet wood, wet sticks started so I can get a fire going with it. Uh, another thing I use it for, take the cotton balls, instead of soaking them in Vaseline, soak them in permethrin. It's a bug killer. Throw those out around the perimeter of my yard. Granted, I live out in the country, okay? And any of you guys live in the country know that ticks are an issue. Throw the cotton balls out in the tubes with the permethrin. The mice, the rodents, the squirrels, whatever it is, will find those cotton balls, and they will take those cotton balls and make nests with them and kill all the ticks and fleas and stuff like that that are on there. It's a good way to put a perimeter around your yard to keep the bugs out. It works, because I do it. Uh, two liter soda bottles. This is, you know, the empty plastic Coke bottles you get or whatever. Great thing for a prepper. There's multitudes of uses for this thing. Great for storing your dry goods in, your rice, your beans, your oatmeal. Seal the cap. It's good. Okay. Just add an O2 absorber. You're all set. It'll shrink up a little bit and you'll be good. 
Uh, you can also strip them. You've probably all seen this. You can strip them and make great cordage out of it. You can tie things together, put a little bit of heat to it real quick. That, that bond, that plastic will heat up a little bit and it gets super tight. You're not breaking that, okay? Another good idea to use in the garden, cut the bottom of the bottle off, turn the bottle upside down and stick it right in the dirt. You can fill that the upside down part of the, you know, the bot from the bottom, fill the two liter full of water, and it will be a nice steady source of water for your house plants out in your garden, whatever it would be. And rather than, you know, especially if we're limited on the amount of water and you need to keep your garden watered, you can go around, you can fill each one of those two liter bottles. You'll know exactly how much water your plant got that day. You're not watering all the places where it doesn't need to get water. You can put it right on the roots of your plant. Good idea there. Cheap way of doing uh, drip tape. Old liquor bottles, old wine bottles. Same thing. You can do this just kind of the upside down way. Have the wine bottle standing straight up. Fill it with water. Put a rag in one end. Put the other end of the rag down in the soil by the roots of your plant. The water will wick from the plant, from the bottle down to the soil. It's not as convenient as the two liter soda bottle, but it, all you got is glass. That's another way of doing it. Okay. Cardboard egg cartons. Buy a dozen eggs, comes in a cardboard box. Don't do this if it comes in styrofoam, but if it comes in the cardboard boxes, those make great little seed starters. The nice part about that is you can just cut the cardboard box a piece part or cardboard egg cart part, put it the whole cardboard and everything right in the ground, the cardboard will disintegrate and you've got a seed, starting, seed starter tray for free. Save those things, okay? Mason jars. God knows we all have mason jars. This, I, I love this little trick. Everybody always says, oh my God, I got to store water. I got to store water. I got to store water. Okay, you know what? Probably like me, everybody's got boxes upon boxes of mason jars that maybe they haven't used yet, that they're empty. Fill them with water. Store water in your mason jars. It takes up the same amount of space if it's empty or full. Store your water in there. You need to use the mason jar. Okay, you're going to now can pickles or whatever it would be. Fine, you got a jar full of water. Go water your plants with it. Go cook dinner with it. It's clean water. Okay, so store water in there. Great. You're using the space anyway. Uh, an old shower curtain. Okay, we all have... Shower curtain gets a little old, gets a little dirty, whatever it would be. Want to change the decor in the bathroom? Shower curtain makes a great tarp. Take it outside, scrub it down a little bit, maybe use a little bit of bleach, whatever it would be. Get some of the mold off of it. Let it dry out in the sun, thoroughly dry, fold it up. It's a great tarp. Throw it in your bob. You're good. Okay. Now you've got a tarp that you can use to make a shelter with. You can cover stuff to keep it dry, whatever it would be. As long as it doesn't have holes in it, which probably it doesn't because... Was the shower curtain. Uh, you know, you've got a good tarp there. I throw it out. Old t-shirts. Yes, everybody knows to use them, you know, like everybody else. Use all your old t-shirts as rags. Polish shoes with them. Do whatever. Clean the dishes. Old t-shirts were great as tourniquets. I know a lot of you guys said in the bug out bag, oh, you should have a tourniquet in there. If anybody's ever been in the military, they know how to do this. Why I have the cloth rags in there. Take the rag, take the t-shirt strip, tie a half hitch in it, put a stick on top of it. Tie another half hitch in it, twist that stick, it'll tighten that up, makes a tourniquet right there. Okay, Old t-shirt and a stick, I think we can afford that. Uh, old nylon stockings, great for drying your onions, drying your garlic. Put a clove of garlic in there, tie a knot right above it. Put another clove of garlic, tie a knot right above it. Boom, 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 boom. You know, got stockings with runs in them. There's your use for it. Uh, eggshells, crushed, crushed eggshells. Everybody eat eggs? Take your, take your eggshells when you finish, rinse them off, throw them in a jar. Get, or, you know, Tupperware container like I do. Get six, eight of them in there, put them in a little Ziploc bag, go over it with a rolling pin. Get yourself down to a nice powder. When you're planting your tomatoes, planting your peppers, put a bunch of crushed eggshell in the bottom of the hole. Why? The plant will take up that calcium and that will keep you from getting blossom end rot. That's what causes blossom end rot is a lack of calcium. Throw the eggshells in there. It's free. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying calcium nitrate. Okay. 
going to be in the garbage anyway. Uh, old newspaper, old cardboard. Great to use in the garden for a weed barrier. You're starting a new garden this time of year, probably getting ready for it. Got weeds, good. Put cardboard, put newspaper over it, leave it sit over winter. It'll kill everything underneath it. No big deal. Nice part about it is you can go start in spring. That cardboard, that newspaper will disintegrate, turns into a compost, and you've got decent soil with no weeds. Uh, security. How about old bent nails? Okay, taking something apart, throw the, throw the boards out. It's got a whole bent, bunch of bent nails in there. Save those. You can have a little welding iron, or welding iron, a little soldering iron, and you can solder a couple of nails together so they're crossed like this, so it looks like a jack. If we ever get in an SHTF situation, it's great to throw out the street, keep car, uh, cars from coming by, blow tires, or somebody wants to hop over a fence, put it in the... Uh, the garden underneath, hop over a fence, those things will go right through somebody's shoes. Uh, you will stop people. It's a good security device. Not legal to do right now. In an SHTF without rule of law, then you use it. Do not do this now. Uh, fishing line and empty beer cans or soda cans makes a great trip wire alarm. Put it around your house, you know, every 30 feet or whatever. Tie about three or four cans onto a stick or a tree or whatever. Tie the other line. Somebody trips over it, kicks it, knocks all make cans make all sorts of racket you know somebody's out there okay and nobody's going to see fishing line and gee there's a couple of cans sitting over there nobody's going to pay any attention to it not realizing it's all put together last one uh old five gallon buckets god knows we all got some of these got a cracked bucket Nah, this is no good anymore sure it is drill some holes in the bottom you know maybe eighth inch holes you now have a field shower okay it's going to leak anyway put some more holes in there Tie a string to it, throw the rope over the branch, pull it up, you got a field shower. So, uh, y'all wanted some ideas on recycling stuff, how to use some of the junk around the house? There's not a single thing on there that you wouldn't throw in the garbage that you couldn't use for something else. So there are 15 ideas, absolutely 100% free, that you can use as prepping. Have a good Monday. Pinball out.